So two years ago, the almond industry made a very public commitment to sustainability with four goals for the orchard of the future, orchard 2025 goals, we call them. One of those is a zero waste goal, to put everything we grow in the orchard to optimal use. The whole orchard recycling is a process of taking the trees out, putting them into these large grinders, spreading the chips out, and then incorporating them into the soil. Whole orchard recycling represents a once in a 30 year chance to actually add organic matter to your soils and to build your soil organic matter. Our San Joaquin Valley soils are very low in organic matter and this is your chance to do something about it. So the almond industry has always uh, put the co-products that come out of the orchard to good use. Historically, shells went into livestock bedding, hulls went into dairy feed, and the uh, woody biomass at the end of a life's orchard when you take out the trees uh, would go into electricity generation, going into cogen facilities in the state. As some of those industries have changed, we need to find new uses and continue to find optimal value uh, for the grower in those co-products. A good candidate for whole orchard recycling are orchards that have reached the end of their productive lifespan, meaning that yields have been generally not satisfactory for the last couple years. So some of the key benefits of using whole orchard recycling based on our research have been overall increases in yield, increases in soil organic matter and carbon, soil nitrogen, soil aggregation, and water holding capacity. We see potential for economic savings using whole orchard recycling compared to the traditional push and burn removal method. And the true beauty of everything we grow can be put to optimal use with whole orchard recycling. Getting rid of these chips, putting them into the ground, using those chips in the ground to develop a better microbial population, develop better soil characteristics. Ultimately, the trees grow better and you get better yields, which yields more money back to the grower. One of the environmental advantages of whole orchard recycling is that we're releasing the nitrogen bound up in the wood chips gradually and naturally as they decompose. So the nitrogen becomes available to the plant spread out in a natural timeline of decomposition. The major steps of whole orchard recycling include excavating out the old trees, then loading those trees and taking them to a large grinder where they're ground up. Then they're placed in large piles where then they need to be spread evenly over the whole orchard floor. After they're spread on the orchard floor, the wood chips need to be incorporated usually with a stubble disc, but sometimes a rototiller or a plow can be used. And then after the incorporation of the wood chips, growers would proceed with their typical orchard redevelopment practices. The size of chips recommended to incorporate into the soil are about two to four inches. These smaller sized chips can help with faster incorporation into the soil. The general cost of recycling consists of removing the trees and chipping them, which can usually range from about four to $600 per acre. And then spreading the chips would range between two to $400 an acre. So you're probably looking at about $1,000 per acre for the whole orchard recycling process. There are two great ways to help offset the cost of whole orchard recycling. The San Joaquin Valley Air Quality District has an incentive program, as does the California Department of Food and Agriculture's Healthy Soils Program. I like to point out to growers too that there's a lot of benefit in the wood chips, a nutrient benefit in the wood chips. I've had them analyzed in, in a typical orchard that we've looked at in the past that might have 64 tons per acre of wood chips. It's going to have approximately 400 pounds of nitrogen in that wood, about 700 pounds of calcium in that wood, and about 50,000 pounds of carbon in that wood. After implementing whole orchard recycling, we've, we recommend that we add additional nitrogen that first year. Moving into the second and sub subsequent years, we would just recommend following normal best management practices for almond fertilization. As a grower myself, talking to you as another grower, what I would tell you is look into this. There are really some significant potential benefits to it, and it really can improve the soil and the returns you get out of your orchards. I think this is one of the best bets you can make when you take out an orchard in terms of your investment in the next orchard. 
The data from over 10 years of research is really strong about the benefits that it provides to improving the soil quality and getting your next orchard off to a great start. 20 years from now, I hope that whole orchard recycling is standard industry practice.